Yep, as expected, straight back to the Velvet Room. Hey everyone, it's Arrow Dragon, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5. In this, in the last episode, we took down Shido at long last. And in this episode, let's see what Igor has to say to us. I've reconsidered my opinion of you, inmate. The look on your face seems to be that of a man who has accomplished a great deed. To think you would use the trap set against you to entrap them. I've never seen a dramatic resurgence such as that. Truly marvelous. Those are the only words I can think of to describe you. You're exaggerating. Perhaps this was easy for you. You've even overcome a mysterious misfortune. There should be no one left to hinder your rehabilitation. Your rehabilitation will be completed shortly. That is, if everything goes well without any problems. <laughs> hmm, promoting. By the way, I was hoping to go out last night, but at night, but couldn't. But oh well. I'm, I'm hoping to pick up the last request I need. I need to see a why three more... It's that dream again. Wow. But anyway, I need to see a why three more times if I want to get that request. I only have seven... I only have six nights. So... Right now, I just gotta hope. But just letting you know... How many times do I ha have I had this dream? Or could it be it's not a dream at all? My memories aren't any closer to coming back to me. But might there be something I'm supposed to remember? If I'm not really human, and if a truth of that comes to pass down the death of mementos, I... Could, could be that all... Dracos. Yeah, as I was saying, there's a chance I might not be able to get it, which means I won't get that achievement, which sucks, but... I've done all I can do. All I can do is just hope that I can actually do it. The 17th, the 17th is your last day to do anything. So... Yep, all I can all I can do is hope. Options. Kemi, Yusuke, on. Okay, so Yusuke or on. I'm gonna see which one is closer. On to seven, Yusuke is at eight. So I think I'll try and max Yusuke's. I know I don't I do, I know I don't need to to use my affinity reading on, on a Y right now. I know he's close. Okay, I'm gonna check to make sure I have a handmade persona on me. I do. Gamalak is perfect. Okay. So all I can do is all I can do is hope. Okay, let's get my affinity reading for Yusuke Katagawa. I should probably check to see if I have an emperor on me. Here we go. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I don't. I'll go grab one. Let me just check. It didn't even matter. Oh, I can hang with Makoto or Haru. Didn't didn't even see that. Let me check them. Uh, let's see. Haru is at five. So almost at, Makoto is at seven. If I'm gonna up anyone, it'd probably be her. Do I? Uh, she's a priestess. Do I have one? No, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm running out of time as it is. Let's just go see Makoto. Okay, so yeah. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to up anyone else to, to their max, but I'm going to try. Shall we go? So, what did you want to talk about? Well, um, I was wondering if you could maybe lend me some cash. <laughs> what? It's nothing real major, but I need it, like, right now. I'll pay it back, though. Pro honest, please? Does this have to do with Tsuka Tsukasa? Mm-hmm. He dropped a super expensive bottle of sake at work, so the clothes making him pay for it, but he needs help. 
He's Vicious. lying to you, Ego. Don't give him any money. He's not lying. I know you're all weird about the fact that he's a hose, but my Tsukasa's not like that. He's really gentle and honest, too. He even calls me princess. I'm the only one he says that to, you know? He says it because I'm special. He calls you a special princess. What do you think, Draco's Coon? That's how he ropes you in. Yes. I have to agree. Every girl who gives him money is his princess. That way he can never get their names mixed up. Don't accuse him of that stuff. You don't have any proof. You're not wrong about that. But did you ask anyone at his club about the broken bottle? Well, um, no. He told me not to th talk to him about it, though. He's too proud to have me cr crying to his boss. Please, Makoto, you're the only person I can trust. All my other friends would rather focus on cram school and entrance exams than take time to help me. And who knows what my parents would say if I tried asking them. Please, even a little. I think you should end your relationship with him. If you don't put a stop to this, he might try to drag you into some suspicious line of work. Oh, he already got me a job. It's something weird, though. I'm just serving drinks at a bar to help him pay off that broken bottle. He said I'll be number one in no time. Maybe I'll be doing that after I graduate high school, though. I mean, it's not like I'm going to go to college. Eiko, you can't just do what he says. He's trying to deceive you. A smart person like you totally wouldn't understand what it's like. You're just going to go to a good college, work at a fancy company, and then what? At the end of the day, your life's going to be totally boring. I mean, is that seriously how you want to live? I'm, I'm not sure yet. But be that as it may, you should still stay as far away from me as you can. So you're not going to help me? Ugh, just forget it. I'll make it up to... If I just let some customers take me on dates after work. Nico, <laughs> wait! I don't want to do this, but Tsukasa has been texting me almost constantly. Recently, he's been asking if my sister and I live alone, and I'd be glad to help us out. Even today, he asked me if I'm still happy with my boyfriend. Listen to me, Eiko. He's not serious about you. Don't give me that! Tsukasa's just nice so he'd, be, he'd worry about my friends for me. Wait, so you're texting him, texting him behind my back? What the heck, Makoto? It was mostly him texting me. Ugh, you have the grades, the looks, a cool boyfriend, and you seriously still want more? Tsukasa's all I have. You can't take him from me. Please listen. That's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, right. Just keep your hands off. I'll, I'd never forgive you. You stole him away, Makoto. Huh. Tsukasa's all she has? You know, I think she's exactly the kind of girl these gangs in Shinjuku are on the lookout for. Lonely, depressed girls who have nowhere to vent their frustrations. Actually, Eiko as a family is quite well off. Her multi-talented younger brother seems to be at the sole focus of her parents' attentions, though. I'm sure that that's why she fell for Tsukasa in the first place. He treats her like she's special. But asking a high schooler for money isn't normal boyfriend behavior. She needs to realize that. You're gonna help, right? Absolutely. Thank you very much. It's reassuring to hear you say that. Eiko's blessed to have both money and a family, yet she's still trying to break free from them. She's almost the exact opposite of me. But I guess in a sense, watching her now is almost like looking back at my past self. I was so blinded by my own convictions that I never stopped to consider other alternative viewpoints on the world. But that's not the right way to live. I want to show her that, just like you did for me. Rank 8! Endure! Awesome! I know she wants me to stay out of her business, but I'll never forgive myself if this comes to pass. Hmm. What's the right way to live? At any rate, we're gonna catch that horrible host. I'll let you know once I've thought of how to do it. I'll see you later. Okay. Please let me hang with a white knight. Please let me hang with a white knight. Please let me hang with a white knight. Like all I can do at this point is just hope I can see him three times. Uh, you're back. Hmm? Yada 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 yada. Alright, oh, tonight's Sunday. Might as well. Hunger charm. Nah. I don't like I don't like accessories that only block a specific status element. That's just too situational. Awesome! Okay. Hey why, what's up? Oh, it's freezing. I wanna work! My 
dad's really late, huh? He's the one who asked us here, too. You know, it's pretty rare for him to invite people out like this. He must see something in you, zephyr -san. I doubt he'd ever actually admit it, though. By the way, um, has he said anything to you? About me weighing him down? No, nothing even close. To be honest, he's been acting super weird lately. More than anything, he seems stressed out. I've heard him mentioning my name on the phone a few times. And every time I have gone to ask him about it, he told me there's nothing to worry about. I don't know, it just makes me feel anxious somehow. I mean, we're supposed to be a family. I'm not sure if you know this, but he's not my real father. He just took me in after my parents died in a car crash. Apparently, he was a good friend of theirs. Honestly, I can't remember a single thing about them. I wonder if my dad even considers me to be part of his family. He definitely does. You think so? Now that I think about it, um, have you ever seen his tattoo? A gecko on his neck? The truth is, I have a really bad scar on the same spot from my parents' car crash. Back when I was a kid, everyone picked on me for it. My dad would always come home to find me in tears. That's why he got that tattoo. He said he can, it could be the new Awai family crest. Oh, and I did some research on geckos. It turns out they symbolize protecting one's home and family. Aw, that's really sweet! I almost forgotten about that, to be honest. Maybe it cares about me more than I realize. Yo. Sorry for the holdup. You two look like you're having fun. What have you been talking about? Girls! Jude <laughs> <laughs> put two a pair of lady killers. Guess there's worse things about you could be talking about. Wait, didn't you, did you get a girlfriend, K-Ro? That's not what we're talking about! Sorry. Anyways, I can't stay for long. I've got errands I need to take care of. Figured it'd be nice to at least drop by and say I tell you over the phone. What errands? Or can you not tell me? <sighs> What's that supposed to mean? It's just work stiff. Ain't that right? You should buy us something. Yo. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Or anything you want, it's on me. Okay. By the way, I must have figuring out what, what, what that deal we were talking about. I'm gonna go meet up with that guy who set it all up. I'm gonna fill you in on the details some other time. <laughs> Anyways, it's all thanks to you, kid. It's real nice having a reliable part-timer helping around the shop. Rank six. Okay, just two more times. All, right. all I can do is hope at this point. I know I've said that four times at this point. I gotta say, saying at this point. Um, you're not getting yourself into anything dangerous, are you? Dangerous? Of course not. Later. Oh, well, I'm out of here. You can hang out under my wallet, K. Ryu. Eat as much as you like. See you at home. Okay. Huh, that's weird. God, I'm looking at said there would be another line, but guess not. Okay, so I know what I'm. I know what I'm using. I, I know what I'm doing right now. Oh. And yes, I'm looking at a confidant guy because I'm not taking any risks. I guess that thing must have been, must have to do with Royal, which is out at this point. Which I'm sure all of you know of, because well, I haven't actually. Well, then again, I haven't actually seen anyone to, met, that comment asking why you're not less playing Persona 5 Royal, not realizing I've been doing this for about a year now. Gee, dear God, I've been doing this for about a year now. <laughs> oh man, it's crazy how time flies. Okay, I'll, I'll hold off on the on the affinity reading until later. I'm gonna go hang with Haru for now. Cause really, what what other choice do I got? For the record, I don't need any more vegetables for, from her. There's a reason. You'll find out later. Thank you. Let's just hang out. Mm. I see. Mm. So there are eight different ways to roast coffee beans. Apparently, the light roast is the most acidic. It says here the type of roast you want to, you want should, should differ depending on how you want to drink your coffee. Hmm. That's fascinating. Yes. It is. I think I would like to try hand roasting each type someday. To be honest, you know, Okuma Foods didn't start out as a burger chain. 
Originally, it was nothing more than a small cafe run by my grandfather. The particular shop closed before I was old enough to appreciate the fine arts intricacies of coffee. But that's where the real origin of my family business lies. That's a surprise. That's, after all, everyone knows the company for its burgers. Um. At any rate, after my grandfather passed, the company shut, down, shut the cafe down due to its street stay loss of revenue. He had never cared about turning a profit, though. His only goal was to make people happy. He built a strong community around that cafe. He'd even give out free meals to those who couldn't afford it. Then the day it closed, people lined up for blocks to give flowers. They really loved that place. But... I wonder how many people would line up for Big Bang Burger if it suddenly went out of business. I know we only need to do well to keep our employees paid, but I can't but think we've lost something important. I mean, T Takakura-san seems to only be focused on profits. At this rate, we'll never lose our black image. That would be bad. Yes. I could. I have to find a way to turn things around. Uh, I really would. Uh, I think I really need is to get stronger. I mean, I can act up in front of my employees, but you know how weak I am inside. And I have a plan now. Before I can really determine who I can trust, the first thing I need to know is what it means to have others trust in me. So I'm gonna get stronger, strong enough for you and the others to rely on me. Rank six! Higher Ascend Recovery! So that means everyone has it. Awesome! Right. Hmm, how am I supposed to gain the trust of my employees? I'm not that great at public speaking, and even just giving my opinion makes me a little nervous. Aru? Ah, oh, great. Huh? Sugimura-san, what are you doing here? I was just heading home from a business engagement when I saw you from my car window. Hmm, do I know you from somewhere? You're one of those brats from before! Um... This is just a friend from school. He's helping me look for some books today. Anyway, we should be getting back to our shopping. Please excuse us. Hold on, Haru. You think you can go on a date with another man and leave your fiancé in the dust? You're not my fiancé. I already said I'm not going to marry you. Oh yeah? What about the contract I made with your father? <laughs> father is no longer here. The Besides, marriage is something you do go into with your own free will. A contract could never hold the same weight. Are you sure about that? Think about the reparations clause. If you go back out of the deal now, you lose everything you own. Akumura Foods, your estate. Even so, I... And what about your employees? Are you really going to put, really put their lives on the line for the sake of your selfishness? Besides, the marriage is exactly what Akuma Foods needs right now. My father would have no trouble managing your shares or sweeping away your company's tarnished image. That reminds me, did Takakura-san tell you about the wedding hall? He got us the Phoenix Wing in the, at the Wilton. Huh? What? He made a provisional re re reservation for 10 days this coming spring. After all, the sooner the better. Wait a minute! We we'll have to look into our guest schedules as well. There will be all over 300 of them, you know. Takakura-san can handle Akumura foods in the meantime. Why don't you go stop by the gym or something, Haru? I mean, if you have time to mess around with this punk, you darn well have a time to get a little thinner. Oh! I'm out of here. Man, I hate that guy! I'm sorry about that. That guy's horrible! Um... You're not wrong about that. He has everything. Fame, intelligence, manners, last one's debatable. The only thing he needs now is a wife he can control. And I guess I'm the perfect target. He can get, he's going to get Akuma Foods as well as my entire inheritance, and I'm totally powerless against him. You're not powerless. Oh, sorry. I practically forced you to say that. But, thank you. Um... Anyway, um, I hope I can share, you, share it with you again sometime. For today, though, I'm rather tired. Would it be okay if we parted here? Goodbye. Okay, fingers crossed for evening. Okay. You're back. Okay, at least I have another option. And looks like I'm going through with it, but I'm gonna go get the the affinity reading first. Might as, well go, might as well get it for Hifumi so I have a... Uh, okay, so let's see. 
Two times in five nights. Oh, I checked four. Let's just get the let's just get the affinity reading. What shall we do? The hangman, weapon stealer, confidant. Ah, man, I'm I'm honestly kind of nervous. There's a chance I might not be able to do this. Here we go. But if nothing else, I can max another confidant right here, which is good. Okay, so let's max out the... what was it? Hierophant, that's it. You're going to the church. We're visiting Wakaba's grave. Alright then. Hmm. I always think about Wakaba on the anniversary of her death. But it's been a while since I visited. I've been so busy with the shop and all. No, no, that's not it. The guilt is what kept me from coming. I thought Wakaba would be angry with me. But now that I managed to get Futaba over here, I can finally meet her with my head held high. <laughs> I sure kept her waiting. But it felt good to tell her about how much Futaba's improved lately. Oh, I told her about you, too. Thank you. Idiot. I should be the one thanking you. This is the first time the four of us are all together. So, Jiro, what are you smirking for? Uh, this is what my real smile looks like. <laughs> I approve. Whew. Oh, I have some news. The family court gave me a call the other day. Futaba's uncle decided to retract his report. It was because of you, wasn't it? Maybe. I wonder if the day will come that she goes out to be someone's bride. I'm sure she'll make a fine lady either way. After all, she is Wakaba's daughter. Do all fathers have to go through this anxiety? Probably. <laughs> you know, I really just wanted to have you help out at the store. You showed me so much more. You showed me I have a family I need to protect. Not just Futaba. But you, too. I may not always be reliable. But feel free to come to me if anything happens. I'll be there for you. As family. Mm. And, uh, uh, I know. I'll teach you everything I can. You're a full-fledged man now. That might not be enough to return the favor. But it's all I can do. Thank you, Sojiro. I am Saibanj. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Hierophant. Granting thee infinite power. Rank 10 Max! Curry Mastery. Allows you to make curry that greatly restores SP to all allies. Pretty good, actually. Alright. And also, we can now fuse Koryu, the most powerful persona of the Hierophant Arcana. It's a dragon. I know it is. It has Ryu in its name. Oh, and, uh. Could you not, uh. You know. Get with Futaba? Well, why not? I imagine you calling me father. <laughs> Although, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> what are you two talking about? Nothing. I hunger. Curry time! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go home. Yeah, let's go home. <sighs> I love seeing the end of Social Rose arc. It's just, it's so heartwarming. Okay, December 13th. Best case scenario, honestly, would be maxing out one more party members. I don't care which at this point. I could be hers, because you're guaranteed a, a rank at what, each time you see her. Let's see, Takemi, On, Ryuji. It could max Takemi's. There's no way I'm maxing On, so... Here's the thing, though. I don't know... I don't know, A, if I could see a Y tonight, and B, if, if what I did last, if the Affinity Ring I got would be enough. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save first, go for, then go for the Affinity Reading, then we'll see if I made the right move. 
Wait. I just realized the music and I just didn't notice it's raining. Darn. So, okay, let's just go to, to hang with Takemi, I guess. It's like, it's like I noticed after I say the music and the rain. There's no one here. But like, this is a good thing. I read that uh, that rainy days you're guaranteed to hang out with a Y. Oh, that's right. I have a, I have a death persona. So if I'm able to max out. T yeah, why not? Ready? Anything to help me get close? Hey. This is the best type of food for mixing. Not only can it be ingested at the same time as food, I can also check the reaction to heat. Yeah, I'll take care of this. You just sit there and watch. What are you scheming? Is that so? Oh, I'm, I'm sure you know. Testing out the new medicine, of course. First, let's try Monja. Monja doesn't have anything else mixed into it. I only tried the condiments, but not that, huh? This, this is a thanks for helping me the development of the medicine progress so fast. When I thought about what type of food I could cook for you, this is what popped into my head. Want to try something other than Monja? Yes! So next time I see Takemi, I'm going to max out the Death Confidant. So, yeah. Actually, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll have six maxed out at best case scenario. Because I'm not going to be able to max both Takemi's and Haru's. That's straight up not happening. Oh, Drat, it's not raining anymore. So that, that, that kind of worries me. Dang it! I can't even go hang with Fumi either. I can hang with Chihaya. Problem is, I'm, I'm not gonna up it. I'm gonna check something. Well, I, okay, but I'm okay, but I'm gonna. Okay, but here's what I gotta do. I'm gonna get another affinity reading for a Y, and then uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do actually. Still seeing that that day counter tick closer and closer to zero just gets me worried. What shall we do? I went out of my way to try and do this, and it might have been for nothing. Okay, I'm gonna see if Sh if Shahaya would give me anything decent, so I can have another thing to do. At the same time, I could also hang with Hifumi, Hifumi, if, if, if she's also available. But still, Let's, let me just see something. I passed it. Uh, there. Yeah, it's not the best thing in the world. So I think I'm good at eight. I think I'll stick with eights, because there's no way I'm going to max it. So instead... Shoot, what am I going to do tonight? Actually, you know what? I actually have a good idea of what I can do. I'm going to check something. Okay, so I gotta get to have the customers leave first. Okay, now I can check the bridge. Darn. Oh wait, I feel I feel like I should have some equipment to, to wash. I think. Actually, no, I, I didn't get any from Shido's Palace. I think I'll just make some some investigation tools. Really want? Oh, actually, no. You know something I can do. Actually, now that I think about it, before I do that, check shady commodities. Dang, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to get that. Uh... I'll just grab this. And why not? Okay, now now it makes some now it makes some tools. Okay. I have three vanish balls. That should hopefully be enough. I'll make a fourth. I'll make one or two. I'll make a, a couple of these. What are your thoughts? Let's see what else I can see something. Go home. I don't need a treasure trap anymore, and I can't make a reserve armor, which is kind of, which reserve ammo, which stinks, but eh. 
Okay. So I'll make one more forces set. I guess I'll make an element set, because why not? What are your thoughts? Okay. And that's, I think I'll also grab a line. I think I'll also make a limelight. You never know when something that can put that can have enemies focus and ally can be useful. Like, let's say they're, they're using fire attacks and I've got on and around, or they're using electric attacks like I have Ryuji. Point is, it can be useful. Mm. Oh, it made two! What are your thoughts? Nah, I think I think that's where I'll stop. That's all that's all I'll need. Yeah. Okay, so I think with that, I'm pretty good to call it an episode. Wow. So yeah. Next time on Let's Play Persona 5, we'll see what the day holds for us. Maybe we can max out to Kemi? We'll see. See you guys next time. Take care.